See these great ladies? They're your neighbors. They live at the Cincinnati Zoo, of course. The hope is when you see them, you'll care about them. With a drastically declining wild population, the endangered Asian elephant needs that care. And that's not lost on some school kids I met. It's why they're the focus of tonight's Positively Cincinnati. Our story begins in a Mount Lookout kitchen. Two fourth graders mixing some cookie dough for a cause with conservation in mind. Young Marguerite Jackson has some experience there. This thank you note from the Cincinnati Zoo is proof. Thank you so much for the bake sale proceeds. The manatees do indeed eat a lot of lettuce and kale. Keep up with the great fundraising work. Marguerite took that mission to heart and took an idea to the other four girls in Mrs. Baker's fourth grade class at Summit Country Day. Individually, they're Lucy, Mabel, Anne Marie, and Ava. But collectively, they're known as the Baker Girls. So why not live up to the name? They decided another sale was in order. If the sweet stuff was for the manatees last time, this time the good work was for Cincinnati's elephant family. <laughs> When we looked into it and saw that the elephants are getting a new enclosure, we wanted to help them. We did a bake sale and we sold brownies, cupcakes, um, cake pops. It felt really great because I like, like seeing people coming out and there's a lot of people that donated money for the animals. $908. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel really good because that's a lot of money. I really thought we were just going to raise like 200 or $300. Uh-huh. And yeah. that's a lot more. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. That led to a once in a lifetime experience. Follow me. A close up visit with the great ladies of the zoo, Mai Tai, Jotty, and Shotzi. You could see how excited the Baker girls were to meet the animals they helped. Oh. And the zoo leaders who made sure to tell them, nice job. When we found out what y'all did, I told the team and they're very excited about what you did. These girls stepped up, the Baker girls get it done. And that means the zoo has about a thousand more dollars in the 150 million it's working to raise for its Home to Rome campaign, which should give the elephants way more room and allow them to grow the herd. Not all zoos will eventually have elephants over the next period of years. It's either sort of go big or go home so you can keep them in an area big enough, an area big enough to breed and have them in a big multi-generational herd. And so this is a big commitment that the zoo says we are going to have elephants 50 years from now. Also, people understand they share the planet with great animals worthy of protection. One, two, three. As fourth graders, <laughs> the Baker girls decided to be a part of that mission. <laughs> proving there's no such thing as too young to make a difference. Positively Cincinnati indeed. I just loved meeting them. Zoo director Thane Maynard and elephant trainer Cecil Jackson Jr. told me they want people to come to the zoo and be inspired to help. They say what the girls did on a local level really contributes to the global conservation campaign.